locker room, I've had quite a few guys come up to me and say, you know, hey, we, we appreciate what you said. You know, thanks for standing up for Brendan. You know, some guys have said, while we may not support the same-sex marriage part of it, you know, we do we do support the First Amendment part. And then other guys have said, we support everything you did. You know, we, we think you did a great thing. So I've, I've got nothing but positive words. Um, maybe like two or three angry messages on Twitter, but, you know, considering it's the Internet, I expected a lot more. So I think, I think it's a good sign. My concerns are that our children and our schools could be taught some liberal agendas because of the marriage amendment. Because in the schools, they might be taught <laughs> that this is normal behavior. <laughs> uh, God forbid our children learn some liberal agenda in, in school because uh, you can make that same argument about 50 years ago with segregation. Uh, God forbid our children learn that black children are the same as them, and uh, it sounds pretty much the same. So I would rather my children learn that people are people, treat other people the way you would like to be treated, and be who you are. That's It's really that simple. Um, if your child happens to be gay, I would much rather your child grows up knowing that it's okay to be gay rather than being bullied or being, you know, driven to thoughts of suicide. That's that's not how children should be raised. So, Mary, uh, I, I simply do not agree with you. Thank you for not showing up. But it's great to have you here tonight. Really, really is. No question about it. Could you agree? Thank you, everyone. Now a quote from Archbishop John Neinstedt. The institution of marriage and family life are unraveling before our very eyes due to no-fault divorce, widespread cohabitation, and promiscuous sexual activity. Amendment opponents, he said, seek to eliminate the need for marriage altogether. Mr. Cool. Um, I would say that, once again, that is completely false. Uh, no one is trying to take away the institution of marriage altogether. What we are asking for is that gay couples can get married. And Archbishop Neinstedt, uh, I don't think you realize, but in the United States, there is something called the First Amendment, and it guarantees the separation of church and state. What that means is that religions are free to be religions, but in turn, people are free from religion in this state. If you don't want to believe in a, re a religion, no bills will be passed, no laws shall be made to force you to believe in that religion. So therefore, if you're becoming involved in secular matters, if you're using religious influence and trying to push religious laws on secular law, that is a clear-cut violation of the First Amendment. I think we're, we're helping sort of change this image that the NFL is just, you know, kind of the stereotypical macho jock type thing. I mean, there, there's a lot of very smart players playing in the NFL, and, and you know, I, I think it, it behooves all of us to, you know, kind of shatter that, that stereotype. Ever since the Dutch passed registered partnerships in 1997, followed by formal same-sex marriage in 2000, their out-of-wedlock birth rate has been moving up at a striking clip. The country experienced a continuous nine-year spike in out-of-wedlock birth rates since the passage of the registered partnerships, and then a five-year continuous spike since formal gay marriage went into effect. There has been a tenfold increase in out-of-wedlock births there since 1980. All of these are indications of a breakdown of family structure in the Netherlands. And the fact that you're, you're trying to correlate that with a breakdown in family structures, that the fact that same-sex marriage was passed you think causes... Uh, breakdown in family structure, well, as anyone who has studied logic knows, or statistics, correlation does not equal causation. It, it, it boils down to, you know, people like Rick, Michelle, you know, all, all the other proponents of this, of this measure, is that, please, just let us live our own lives. Stop trying to live other people's lives for them. Don't take away people's free will.